Welcome back, KennyOrtiz.com. So glad to have you checking out my website. Uh, I feel a privilege and honor that you would um, that you would stop by and check out my site. Uh, this is part seven of a series: How to How did this church start? Um, and how did the church start? Is a series is a sort of a sub series I'm doing to a a multi video series I'm doing called History of the Church and Related Questions. Uh, this is part seven. Um, I'm going to be dealing quite a bit with um, the Holy Roman Empire uh, or the, the, the rise, the, the, the fall of the Roman Empire, uh, the Eastern Western Empire, Constantine, um, and then um, and, and then talk about some of the political corruption that begin to take place in the church. If you haven't seen the first six videos, I encourage you to go watch those first. It'll be very informative, and um, and they'll lay the foundation for this video. Um, so here in part uh, part seven, I want to talk about. Uh, I left off in the last video, sort of Constantine. Had unified the entire whole, the entire Roman Empire, uh, over, uh, over the, uh, you know, under the under the auspices of Christianity, legalized Christianity, and persecution of Christians was still very hot and heavy and brutal in certain pockets on by local governors and local people. But what also began to happen in other portions where people said there are some people began you, you couldn't rise to power. At this point in the in the Roman Empire, unless you claim to be a Christian, you, they weren't going to make you a leader, and so lots of people be and, and and there was no penalty for being a Christian anymore. So lots and lots of people who wanted to be political power, who weren't really Christians, say, hey, there's no penalty for it. I want power. I got to be called call, call myself a Christian, and they begin to call themselves Catholic. You know, I'm a universal Christian. I, I've embraced the universal ideas of 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 the, of the teachings of Jesus. I I am. I am I'm subscribing to the to the this large church, which is now known as the Roman Catholic Church. Um, people began to follow, and lots of people who didn't believe in God at all, or barely believed in God, or other religions, began to be a part of the Roman churches all over and become part of it purely for power and political reasons. And what they began to do in certain regions is these these the local Roman churches that were run by the local people began to persecute people of other religions. So for the first time, you see. People who call themselves Christians begin to persecute and brutally murder and kill. And like I said in the previous video, I mentioned that there was a split between the whole between the Roman Empire, and you had the sort of the the church run by the bishop in Rome and the church run by the by the eastern portion of the of the Roman Empire, which sort of began to uh, allow some of the Greek traditions to infiltrate and really move toward a much more conservative, much more orthodox. Much more litigious, much more very, very structured, and became a very legalistic church um, in that time period. And they were uh, they were in a, they were in the in the city, which eventually is named uh, Constantinople. Uh, this was the seat of the Byzantine Empire. The, the what was the Eastern Roman Empire eventually becomes the Byzantine Empire. Well, the Greek Orthodox Church of the Eastern Roman Empire did not like the Roman Catholic Church at all. And so you see lots of Roman Catholics begin to brutally murder and almost wipes out this church, the Eastern Greek Orthodox Church that had morphed over the last 100, 120 years, had sort of, sort of, you know, and so by 400 AD, you see all these churches completely, um, you see, you see massive uh, persecution of, of Christians and you see massive persecution of people who call themselves to be Christians against other religious, religions as well. And then you see the Byzantine Empire, um, is sort of the eastern portion when Constant, uh, Constantine dies, the eastern portion breaks away from the western portion again. They become their own empire, and they eventually become the, what's known as the Byzantine Empire. And there's this massive infighting between the Greek Orthodox and the Roman Catholics. And eventually, the Roman Catholics are are, are pushed away and, and are, out, are out. And it's the Greek Orthodox Church of the Byzantine Empire that eventually sort of kind of takes control there uh, in that area. Um, but then what you see it later on is the, the Turks uh, begin to, which eventually becomes the leaders of the Ottoman Empire, begin to fight against, within 100 to 200 years, fight against that. And eventually Christianity is wiped out there and Islam becomes the, the religion of that part of the world, uh, which includes modern day Turkey, which includes what was Ephesus, which at one time was the epicenter of Christianity. And so to me it's almost heartbreaking to think what would happen there. But so in the western side of the uh, on, on the Roman Empire, you had this huge empire expanding through Germany, uh, all through through Europe. But you have the Germanic, what was what is modern day northern Germany and upper part upper portions of Europe, the Germanic um, Germanic tribes fighting at war with the Roman constantly. And because there were so many political corruptions and so many different mini little mini countries amongst the Romans, 
they couldn't sustain each other, and they weren't unified. Eventually, the barbarians of the north, uh, they fight Rome, and they defeat Rome, and, and the Roman Empire, the Western Roman Empire, completely falls apart in 465 uh, A.D., and all these, they all break up. Literally, within a few days, or a few weeks, it seems like, you have, you go from being one massive conglomerate to being a bunch of different little mini-countries. And now, you have all this political political fighting and infighting all sorts of sub mini civil wars massive corruption and fighting um, starting really in, in the middle of the 400s 465 AD uh, and right at the center of this is the Roman Catholic Church and so um, you know the Roman Catholic Church really kind of showed up on the scene in the middle of the you know, middle of the 300s under Constantine and here we are in 465 AD 120 years later, 115 years later, and like I said in a previous video, I mean, look at the United States. Look what, in the last 120 years, look how different the country is. Completely different morally, completely different fabric of society. The the Federal Reserve, the, the World War One, World War Two, the New Deal, Medicare, Medicaid. I mean, all the different presidents, the different things that have happened. 120 years, a lot of evolution of society takes place. A lot of things rapidly change, and this is what you see. Uh, and you go from literally from Constantine, who seems like he had a, maybe had the right intentions of spreading Christianity, where Christianity now becomes the, the main tool for political corruption, and the Roman Catholic Church becomes the becomes a very political thing, and all these little mini churches are fighting for political power, and a lot of the ch Roman churches, Roman, the Roman Catholic churches, are preaching people, hey, listen, if you don't follow us, you're going to go to hell, and 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 so the, a lot of these the, the bishops and the priests they begin to be called. And by this point, a lot of them started to call themselves priests, uh, which is the Old Testament word for, uh, for, the, for the people who led the temple. And because the priests were the guys in the Jewish times, before Jesus, they had the temple. They also had political power. Not only were they, were the, they were the religious leaders of a particular community at their temple or in, in a synagogue in, in a Jewish community, but they, began, they, were, they also had power politically. And so a lot of the, the leaders of the churches wanted to have political power as well so they begin to call themselves priests and say not only am I the spiritual leader of this church in this community but I begin to exert political power and they would get in cahoots with some of the political leaders and governors and were very corrupt and were taking bribes and giving bribes and were able to develop even little mini armies and militias and begin to take over and you see this massive infighting taking place uh, and lots of fighting where the Roman Empire um, falls apart and all these little mini empires pop up and there's this constant fighting between the barbarians, which is known as the barbarians, and sort of the, the grammatic, the different tribes of of, of what is what Scotland, what is modern day Scotland and modern day uh, Northern England, and what is modern day Northern Europe, Scandinavia. Most of them were from Germany, and they were these barbarians, and they would come, and I mean they would, uh, and it would be brutal, brutal wars. And this is a, and in this time period, what you have is uh, from about 450 or 465 A.D. Up to about 800 AD, you have a massive, you be, the beginning of the Dark Ages. And literally, a lot of the technology and innovation and, and progression made in the Oran Empire completely fell apart because of the massive infighting and massive corruption and massive wars. Uh, people were living to be 90, 100, 120 years old in the Roman Empire. The life expectancy by 800 AD is like 35 to 40 years old. Um, a lot of two thirds of the people are wiped out by plagues in, in many countries and sicknesses and war. And this becomes an area where a lot of the technology and people stop learning to read and write because they're not going to school to learn to read and write. They're worried about a tribe coming and killing them. So they're learning how to wield a sword, but they never learn to read and write. And so within a generation or two, you have massive ignorance throughout the entire what was the Roman Empire. You have massive corruption, massive fear. People don't know how to, um, so you, they lose a lot of the technology they had developed for um, sanitation was lost. It was not passed down from generation to generation. And within two or three generations, you have massive ignorance. People in, who lived in the year 700, 800 AD uh, knew far less about technology than people who lived in, in 300 or 400 AD. And this really was, and at, the, at the heart of all of this political infighting is unfortunately the, the Roman Catholic Church.